Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, Lone Shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey! Get back here. You owe us money. Stop. Last chance to save your hand. Stop! Taking your teeth as well. Get the ropes off already. Holy Moses. Aren't you going to untie me? You got the map. Do the decent thing. That's no place for you. I'm sorry, partner. Glad to see you on the up and up.
Thanks, mister. Transport, keep clear. This isn't right. Let me out of here. It weren't my fault. I don't deserve to be locked up. Like we yeah. haven't heard that before. Good evening, Arthur. Good evening, Arthur. Arthur? You did good in town. 
finding out about that train? Thank you. It was fun. Well, I wouldn't say it was all fun. Pearson? Hey. Damn it, Pearson! Looks like we gonna eat well tonight. You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, Skill Tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Okay, I'll keep my eye out for him. Just make sure it goes into the pot and not your pocket. Well done, Mr. Morgan. This all I got for you. I know supplies are low. the best quality, but some seasoning will hide it. Okay. I think I'm gonna turn in. Hey, Thank Mr. you, Arthur. Arthur. Hey. You miserable sock sack of shit. <sighs> nice tongue you oh, got hello. Down, lady. I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Good job, Mr. Morgan.
How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, hey, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. will get us out of this mess. Now sure, we might we might run into another five messes down the road. Shit, we might run into a whole series of messes, but but we will get to the promised land and we will be free. And for those of you who doubt it, you'll be the ones who won't make it. You can trust me on that. It's trust. North to south trust. That's all I'm saying.
Ain't forgotten you. Oh, Mr. Downs! Downs! Where are you? Downs! Whatever do you want? <coughs> oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? <laughs> please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. <coughs> Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me. Believe me. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. Please, please no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him. You took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of <gasps> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money.
something wrong? How did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Hey, Arthur. How are you? Covered from that business in the hotel? Are you well, Mr. Morgan? Well, I'm alive, Miss Grimshaw. These girls, Mr. Morgan, they're driving me to despair. Why? No gratitude. And no manners. This younger generation. It saddens me. The world is ruined. Is it, uh, fun? It's amazing. It's the reason we live in. The only thing that makes me happy. So, the only thing that makes you happy is being in that summer house. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Thank you. 
Arthur. Got a problem? You want one? <laughs> I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? <sighs> sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? <sighs> okay, just quickly. <clears throat> that felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen. Sad things. Remember with kindness. How can I help you? I'll take a paper, please. Bye now. What are you doing back here? Ain't you caused enough trouble? Huh? Beating up half the saloon like that? Near killing Tommy out in the street.
Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? Uh, um, I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the... Nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. <laughs>